Am I, am I back? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Um, hey, how's it going, guys? I connected, and then it just immediately disconnected me. Um, but it's fine. I'm sure it will never happen again. I'm spinning, baby. I'm spinning. Anyway, um, how is everybody? We Adorable. Oh, I like the little flourish at the end. Should we see if we can get it to face the right way this time? Oh, you faced the wrong way. Oh, well. She looks adorable. So, how is everybody? I don't believe the sound effects are broken. I think uh, it was just... Um, I typed it in stupid. There we go. All right, all right, all right. So, how the devil is everybody? Um, it has been like a whole week since I've spoken to spoken to most of you guys. This is great. We got Sterling, we got Decker, we got Echo, we got Ruby, we got Crush. This is great. How is everybody doing? Legs are sore. Oh, I misread that. Is Echo saying that? Because obviously Echo's legs are always sore because it, like every day is leg day for Echo. He's got like super pump legs. Why are your legs sore, Decker? What have you been doing to give yourself sore legs? Ooh, a can of laminade. Also, this little kid is clearly wearing his shoes with his feet in the pool. That is both disrespectful and gross. Ooh. Hey, Wolfie's here as well. How did you get on with um, that little uh, favour I asked you for, Wolfie? Any luck? I <laughs> used extreme speed too much. <laughs> ah, right, we did some... So, I think... Ah, sweet, Wolfie, you the man. Uh, Ekka's been working on some emojis for his Discord, which has set my Discord bot off. Um, I think... I'm assuming the gym is in this town, because we were heading here towards the end of last week. So, I think what we'll do is we'll try and catch a couple of new Pokemans first, and then then once we've done that, we'll head off uh, to the gym. Um, which one of these two gives me the recommendations to catch next? Okay, it's the Pokedex. No, no, no! That's not... N never a competition, Eka. We are... All equals here, and everything that I do, and everything that you do, and everything that everybody else does is every bit as important. So, uh, I didn't even know you had one. So, um, that's never feel bad about talking about your personal projects and stuff because that's what we're all here for. Um, I want a haunter, um, because I, the ghastly, if you remember a few weeks back, repeatedly kicked my ass. <clears throat> 
Jesus Christ, Decker. <laughs> oh, I'm denying that. Ooh. Let's... Naughty, naughty, I keep using foul language. <laughs> um, yeah, if you remember, the Haunter, not the Haunters, the Gastlies were kicking my ass a few weeks back. So I think catching a Haunter will make me feel really good about myself. So let's just head south a little bit and try and catch maybe a couple of these guys. <laughs> I know exactly what you meant, Eka, don't worry, man. Watch your profanity. Right, let's go catch a couple of mons, and then we'll we'll hit up the gym. What kind of level uh, are all the the monsters? Uh, the monsters, Jesus Christ! <laughs> what kind of level are all the Pokemon in the gym that we're about to go to? Do I need to do a bit of training first? I probably do. Um, we'll catch a few Pokemon. We'll hit the gym, and then Wolfie's gonna send me over uh, a couple of bits and pieces. Uh, he's very kindly offered to donate to my Pokedex. Oh, <gasps> it's that. Pelipper. Screw you! <laughs> this is not the way we came in. I've just realised. <laughs> uh, I think Ghastly is actually my favourite out of all of them. But because Haunter's further up the line, I feel more manly having beaten the Haunter. Uh, having had my ass kicked by Ghastly so many times. Meeting a trainer can only mean one, but can only mean battle. What a simple concept. The pocket monsters. Pocket mon. Pocket monsters. Pokemon are the champions. I <laughs> got a Leroy Jenkins, Fisher Harriet. Well, okay. Let's do it. Barraskewda. Oh, that's hideous. I don't like fish at all. Like, sea life in general freaks me out. But that thing is horrendous. Look at its creepy glassy stare. You know what I think I don't like about fish? They don't have eyelids. Like, what the fuck, man? Fish can't even blink. Leroy! Well, not speedy enough. Full crush. <laughs> Ring a ding ding. Have you come across a Pokemon that spits fish? That sounds horrendous. <laughs> What's uproar? Let's have a look. Use attacks in an uproar for three turns. During that time, no Pokemon can fall asleep. What? Um, probably give that a miss, to be honest. I don't really have a problem with Pokemon falling asleep on me. If anything, I want them asleep so I can catch them easier. Anyway, let's continue to Leroy Jenkins, this poor fisherwoman who has no idea what pain she's brought upon herself by challenging me. She watched the stream two weeks ago where every one of the people in the chat kicked my ass. And now she's like, oh, it's smug. I've seen how easy he goes down. Not realizing I've never lost a battle to an AI. Never. Watch this now. Whatever she, she's gonna bring out like a level 100 Charizard and just fucking destroy me. Um, why would I want to change from Crush? He's my electric boy. Electric boy. A lantern. Now I think this is the evolution of the similar looking one, like the little flat boy with the lantern on its head. Probably. Maybe I'm talking out my ass. Hop used one last fight. Did he? I don't think he spit fish at me. I think I'd remember that. I think I'd still be having nightmares to this day if that was the case. <laughs> How about a fight sometime in the stream just so I can show off a Pokemon? <laughs> sure thing, man. Why not? Oh. This guy, I guess, doesn't mine electricity. That's, that's Hex in there. Sure. As long as we beat the gym this episode, whatever time we got left, um, we'll do a bit of trading and a bit... Um... He's water electric. Jesus Christ, how does that work? How does it not just kill it? I suppose you've got like electric eels and things in real life, don't you? I guess it's the same sort of thing. Still, sounds like bullshit to me. Oh yeah, my Pokemon is um, it's not weak to anything. It's super amazing. Ah... Uh... Water types, weak to flying types. Because I feel like birds eat a lot of fish, so my weird smug brain is telling me that therefore 
all bird Pokemon should be able to kick fish Pokemon's ass. Fuck it. Let's just try and set it on fire. <laughs> I know it's a water type, but it's got no health left. Uh, Crush is confused by me trying to set fire to a fish. But, like, people cook fish. Cooked fish is delicious, right? Oh, it's used Crush's own trick against me. Discharged all over me. Disgusting. It's a shame that I can't host battles and watch them. Because it would be really cool if other people could fight on my stream. Like if Wolfie and Crush could have like a battle. That would be really cool. The stronger one always wins. How simple. She is wearing a condom on her head. That's all I'm going to say about that. Ah, we've got the... team battles, huh? Okay. Alright, I tell you what, I won't do it this week. I'll put something in place, because I'm, I'm working on a couple of things to upgrade the layout when we're playing Pokemon. I want to add some, like, Pokeballs to the chat, like, add, like, a box around the chat and stuff like that. Um, and what I'll do is I'll, I'll pre-generate some polls... See who wants to play. Like, we'll see if we can get, like, um, anyone else that plays Pokemon involved as well. Like, um, Naz, um, and, uh, you know, get everyone involved. And we'll, we'll do, like, uh, some team battles with everybody. And everyone can place bets on who they think they're going to win. That sounds good fun. Um, I tell you what, Wolfie, if you're free now, actually, should we trade those Pokemon across now, if that's okay? Um, and then I can just have them gaining XP in the background while I catch a couple of noobs. And then, say, at hour into the stream, I'll go do the gym, and then we'll finish off with a match against Crush. See if I can finally beat him and get that Meowth off him. <laughs> Tidy. Uh, just let me know the, the trade room number. And I'm all yours. Ah, right, connect to the internet first. I'm not going to forget this time. <laughs> um, again, if anyone sees anything that they want for their Pokedex that I've got, and you, you know, you want, want it, more than happy to trade anything with anybody. Uh, I'm connected to the internet. And we'll do a link trade. 4545. Bloop. In the meantime, let's explore this city a bit more, so at least we know where the gym's going to be. Is this a pizzeria? Give me some pizza. I bet there's somewhere there's probably a pe- Disgusting. Who let this giant centipede into this restaurant? Disgusting. Um, yeah, I bet there's a pizza Pokemon somewhere amongst the, like, 850 Pokemon that exist. There's bound to be, like, a pizza mon. Oi, you getting that meow this you ain't getting the meow this time, simply want to shop a Pokemon. Fair enough, my dude, fair enough. If you're that scared that I'm gonna take your meow away, that's fine. Um Is there anything in particular that you want, Wolfie? Anything you need for your decks? Oh, he's already sorted it. Fair enough. Uh, tell you what, then. You can have Slippery Gym. Oh, look how happy School Buddy is. What a cutie. He's just happy to be getting away from Wolfie. <laughs> he makes me do all the cleaning in the house. A happy little bunny. Do 
Bloop. Excellent. One down. A warm-up of running around gets fire energy coursing through this Pokemon's body. Once that happens, it's ready to fight at full power. Does a little jog before it starts fighting. That's fair enough. Um, and you can also have Eduardo. Because Eka told me that I spelled Eduardo wrong. <laughs> I think everyone else spells Eduardo wrong. And that's the correct way of doing it. But that's just me, baby. We. So basically what I'm going to try and do once we clear the gyms is I'm going to start obviously 100%ing the Codex, uh, the Codex, the Pokedex. Um, I'm not going to do it in numerical order, but I'm going to try and do it as numerically as possible. So I'm going to try and get the three main starters, evolve them up and move down to whatever's next. Obviously catching other stuff as we go, but each week focusing on the next couple of Pokemon in that order. Um, just to try and give us a little bit of structure because... Um, <laughs> Otherwise, I think we could just descend into chaos. <laughs> I'm an agent of chaos. Yeah, yeah, we're going to digivolve them, obviously. When scared, this Pokemon cries. Its tears pack a chemical punch of a, of a hundred onions. The hell? And attackers won't be able to resist weeping. Excuse me, madam. Can I distract you while you're trying to eat your meal? This dish is cooked to perfection. It's juicy, but not overly soft, and gives you something to really bite into. I must send the cook my compliments. I don't want to be that guy, but is she just eating the menu? Because they clearly don't have any food on their table. Hello there, welcome to Bob's Your Uncle. You're not leaving here without enjoying a delicious meal. Is that a threat? <laughs> so long, sucker! Okay, uh... I need to go back to the Pokemart and put the three starter Pokemon into my into my party. If I could remember where the freaking Poker Center was. And then we'll go catch a couple of Mons. Okay, that's the hairdressers. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Where's my bike? Ring ring. I think it was over here somewhere, wasn't it? That's the pizzeria. Jesus Christ. <laughs> As I'm sure people don't believe me when I go on about how terrible my sense of direction is. And then they see me drive around a small town six times. Oops. Where's the freaking Pokemon sensor gone? We're back at the hairdressers. What? I hate this. I hate this so much. <laughs> don't you bruh me. I was about to make... A lewd joke, but stop myself. You're welcome. <laughs> there we go. Jesus Christ. Right. I was literally just here. Fucking hell. <laughs> right. We've got no Boris yet, but we need Iris in the party because Iris is going to be the one using that slash. We're going to keep Wolfie because he's my hard hitter. Um, so let's just switch out. I didn't fail. I found my way there. We're there, aren't we? <laughs> For the Sobble, um, let's put uh, Decker is too good f for catching Pokemon. He just kicks everything's ass. Um, so we'll get him back out when we get to the gym. Uh, where's that little score bunny gone? That fluffy little bugger. There he is. Um, and you know what, actually, let's... Vulpix needs the levels, so let's get Sterling out. And we'll put Lahal in. Um, cool. And then we'll put Wolfie up at the top. <clears throat> followed by... Iris. And finally, Azuria. And then we're just going to try and grind a few levels on Sobble, Lahal, and the Rabbit. Which we're going to try and rename now, because it's confusing. <laughs> Everyone's just losing their shit. It's fine. It's fine. I need to level up some other Pokemon. They're going to come back on before we go to the gym. It's all fine. Jesus Christ, like four people dropped out the chat. It's that upsetting. <laughs> it's all good. Don't worry. We'll, we'll, be, we'll have them right back once we've caught a few more Mons.
What are we going to call the Sobble? Um, uh, what's the name of that whingy little bitch from Disgaea that the grown-up Sobble reminds me of? Um, Sobel. Uh, no, the the angel guy. Um, the one, the only character in this Gear Five whose name I can never remember. Uh, I'm a brain fart. Oh, literally, someone told me this last week on stream. Yeah, that dude. Um, something Sco. Ah, nuts. Someone Google it for me. It's going to drive me mad. Um... <laughs> Christo. Jesus Christ. I knew it was something, Stowe. Christo. Christo the Sobble. Christo. All in caps, apparently. <clears throat> yeah, that's fine. He could be Christo. <laughs> all in caps. Always in caps. Um, yes. And what, what should we call the rabbit? Hyperactive little bunny. Oh, I guess we can't change it. It's just going to have to be called... Something in Japanese. <laughs> we got a real Leon here. <laughs> Whee! Right. Ah, oh, crap. Straight into this smug-looking mother. I think we've already got one of these as well. Because I remember when we caught it, someone was like, oh, there's a male and female version. Oh, we haven't caught it. Okay, that wasn't a waste of time after all. Um, let's... <sighs> this is going to one-shot it, isn't it? Let's just go for a bone rush. Rush it with your bones, Wolfie. All right. Come on, three of those. That'll be good. Nice. Sneasel, a dark ice type. <laughs> My bone is already ready. Lol. I misread that. I thought you said my bone is really long. And I was like, alright, someone thinks someone thinks a lot of themselves. <laughs> Comes from Gen 2 and gained an evolution in Gen 4 with Weevil. <laughs> Wolfie says also another fact. We'll see. Right, let's get Iris out, knock this thing down to 1 HP and try and catch it. <clears throat> we also need a name for this Sneasel when we catch it, so you guys get thinking. Yeah, yeah, you sharpen those claws up. You're not going to get a chance to use them. I'm going to make you my bitch. Sneasel evolves when leveling up at night while holding a razor claw. That's very specific. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, keep chopping him up. <laughs> Icy bitch. <laughs> Shasha! Perfect. Well done, Iris. Performing perfectly as usual, as long as Boris isn't here to witness it. Females have shorter feather on top of their heads than the males. Okay, it looks like we're going to be using an Ultra Ball then, huh? Stop sharpening your claws! <laughs> Fuck's sakes. I don't even want to catch this one. It's clearly, like, fucking brain dead. <laughs> <clears throat> Although it's just waking me out and getting buffed by hail, which is kind of awkward. Um, Ultra Ball, I guess. Come on, baby. i got to stop saying I'm going to make this Pokemon my bitch, because when I do, they invariably just escape. <laughs> Thank you. Christo learned water gun. Christo learned, sorry, Christo learned blind. Christo wants to learn water pulse. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get rid of growl. I don't even care what water pulse does because it will definitely be better than growl. Hang in there, Crush. Ember. Quick attack. Double kick. Oh, I like double kick. 
Yep, get rid of Growl. Get it out of there. Nice. And that is our first catch of the day. Bada bing, bada boom. Its paws conceal sharp claws. If attacked, it suddenly extends the claws and startles its enemy. I'm going to call it Assy Biatch. The times like this, I get reminded of my anger issues. It's okay, Crush. Nothing to get up, nothing to get worked up about, buddy. Ooh, an ice cream. We've not got one of these yet. That's a dopey-looking thing. <laughs> a wild vanillish. Come on, buddy. Uh, I have never seen one of these before. Uh, let's just try Meteor Mash because we've not seen this one yet. It's a new move. We've not tested it out. It avoided the attack. Son of a bitch. Do it again. Meteor Mash. Come on. Oh, holy shit. Wolfie, come on, buddy. <laughs> okay, super effective. We, we, we know that for next time. At least we're getting the XP for it. Uh, tearful look. Use gets teary eyed, makes the target lose its combat of spirit. This lowers the target's attack and special attacks. I mean. Power 40. Yeah, let's just get rid of pound, I guess. It's not like we're ever going to use him in battle, really, anyway. The heart grew to level 20. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, no, screw Screech. Flame Charge. Oh, that sounds cool. What does Flame Charge do? Power 50, Accuracy 100. Physical damage. Cloaking itself in flame, the user attacks a target. Then building up more power, it raises its speed stat. Uh, okay, let's just get rid of Tackle, I guess. Burn me one second, dudes. Smug Dog who keeps invading my space. Just have to boot her out. <laughs> Are these boys not evolving yet? Oh, Jesus Christ. I should just bite my tongue, shouldn't I? Uh, um, evolve from Vanillette. Vanillite and evolves into Velinux. Comes from Unova Gen 5. Pure ice type. Hey, it's Will. How's it going, buddy? Oh, he looks so emo. How's it going, Will? How's your week been, my friend? Clever competent. This Pokemon battles using water balloons created with moisture secreted from its palms. Disgusting. Um, cool. Well, we've got all three of those now. So we, Because uh, we were very kindly traded the third evolution of Sobble the other week. So we can switch him back out. And just to make Crush happy, we'll put Crush back in the team. Oh my god, he's wearing a Naruto headband. Raboot. Raboot a Gulliman. Um, I wish we could rename him. I want to call him Naruto. Or Bruto's dad. <laughs> it's thick and fluffy fur protects it from the cold and enables it to use hotter fire moves. Very good. Uh, I'm pretty sure someone told me that I can switch Pokemon out without having to go to a Pokemon Center. Uh, bloop. Oh, no, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, box, here we go. Right. Thank you, Christo. You will probably never be seen again. What's this guy doing in box number eight? What the hell? What's Icy Biotch doing in my eighth box? That's bizarre. <laughs> that's just weird. Am I going to run out of space? I feel like I haven't caught, like, a high percentage of the Pokemon yet. But we've already filled... We're on box four of eight. Or does it give you more boxes when you fill them? Okay, you get more boxes. That makes more sense. 
Right, let's put Crush back in the party. Wherever he be. Crush, where are you? There he is. Oh my god, Smugdoggo, I'm serious. Please, <laughs> leave me alone, you needy beast. Okay, tell you what, come up here. You can come and sit by me. There you go, good dog. Okay, we've got a special guest this week. We've got Smug Doggoo, who's feeling very needy. Since this whole lockdown thing's going on, she's just, um... I don't know. She's just decided that she can't leave me alone for five seconds. <laughs> Crush is back. All right. Um, what level um, are we going to get the final evolutions for um, Lahal and our Japanese score bunny? Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. I'm thinking as soon as I do end up going back to work, she's going to get, like, super mopey. <laughs> Boom rush. Okay, 34, 35. That's not too bad. We should get there in no time, really. Acid. Yeah, nothing says like delicious ice cream like acid. Okay, we just gotta hope that the bone rush doesn't hit three times. Two times should get us where we need, three times will probably kill it. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Wolfie, why'd you, why'd you always crit when I don't need you to? Ah, oh, god damn it. Ooh! No, not a fourth! You shitbag! That was a roller coaster. God damn it. I was like, yes! Then I was like, no! Then I was like, yes! Wolf is just fucking with me at this point. Right. Ice creamy boy. Either do four good hits, or do two not very good hits. But don't, don't mix them up. That doesn't do me any good. Right, okay. Bone Rush. Four good hits is what we want. That should just do us right. Okay, not... <laughs> Wolfie, you're fucking killing me, my man. Alright, let's just switch over to Iris and hopefully more reliably. Uh, more reliably do what we gotta do. Whoa. Oh, so that's what Uproar does, I guess. Oh, come on. Come on, Iris. Boris isn't here. You shouldn't be getting your ass kicked. <laughs> I live only to defeat the opponent. Jesus Christ. Right, let's try Draining Kiss. See, see how far that gets us. Get a bit of health back. It'd be fine if it wasn't for the hail. It's just, just that little bit too much. Right, another draining kiss, then we'll give it the old fake slice or whatever it's called, and we'll be where we want to be. Take notes, Wolfie. <laughs> oh, I bet it tastes like vanilla. Or acid. Acid vanilla? Hmm. Not sure about that at all. I'm <laughs> kissing it lewdly. Iris can't kill it. Iris has got full swipe, which as far as I know, never crits to kill anything. Stop using your big ice dick on me. No! Iris! Don't die! <laughs> no! 
God damn it. Okay. Hmm. What do we do here? What do we do here? What do we do here? I think we heal up Iris. Got a bit of a waste of a potion, really, but... Anything else we do, Iris results in dying, and then I have to run back to that Pokemon Center. And we all know how long it's going to take me to find that. So, it's just easier not to go through that debacle. <laughs> a very rare move called Hold Back. Interesting. So, what does that do? I'm assuming it's like essentially the same thing. <sighs> you can always just cook a curry. I am master of the curries. I think the reason that the curries always turn out really well, even though I make them shitly, is all the practice we had in Disgaea of making curries. Because we made thousands of curries across the year that we were playing that. Um, and I think it's just practice at this point. Okay, right. We've got this guy where we want him to be. Let's try and catch this dickhead. Bloop. Bloop. Excellent. What are we going to call this guy? Also, we need to... Exclamation mark. Catch. Plus one. Boom! Oh, jeez. Are we really only on two Pokemon? No, because... Um... Score Bunny and Sobble both catch as new Pokemon for our decks. So that actually puts us at four, which is slightly better for half an hour in. Iris is leveling up. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm guessing we want everyone to be around about level 55 by the time we get to the um By the time we get to the gym. By drinking pure water, it grows its icy body. This Pokemon can be hard to find on days with warm sunny weather. Um Mr. Frosty. Oh, 55 is overkill. Okay, cool. So, probably around about where we already are then. No, we don't need another Sneasel. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, you little shitbag. I thought, I thought, I thought we'd outsmarted it. But it turns out that Sneasels are smarter than I am. <laughs> He did. Absolutely done me. Wow. That's a little bit of a difference. <laughs> it's like desert snow. You'd think one small tunnel probably wouldn't house quite such a drastically different biome. But what do I know? Right. So, whoop. We don't need another one of those. Um... According to the Pokedex, we're going to try and catch these four Pokemon before we go for the gym. So we've got 20 minutes to catch four Pokemon. A Haunter, a Hippodon, a Porinard, and a Dusclops. Let's do it, guys. We got this. I know you all have faith in me. I know you all totally believe I can do it. We've already got one of those. Oh, come on. Gerda boy. Get out of here, creepy Gerda boy. I'm guessing it's got to be these hidden in the grass Pokemon. Excellent. There's the first one. Dusclops. The creepy one-eyed mummy Pokemon. Now, Wolfie, don't you kill this Pokemon. <laughs> You've been warned. Excellent. Okay, we're not super effective against it, so... But ten levels higher should get us around about perfect. It's pronounced Porniard. Falcon Punch. Rude. That thing's a fire type. 
It looks highly flammable. It looks like if you got fire near that thing, it would just <laughs> go up in flames. Son of a bitch. Oh, it's gonna be one of these, is it? Alright. 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 A pure ghost type. Ooh, a Pokeball we missed before. Sweet. Okay, Haunter. Right, now's our chance. Get revenge for all the times that Ghastly kicked our asses. Oh boy, that's not good. Ooh, nice one, Wolfie. That's exactly what we want. Perfect. Man, that Haunter absolutely mugged you off, Wolfie. <laughs> absolutely mugged you off, mate. Uh, yes, we're going to use next Pokemon. Thank you. I know False Wipe's probably not going to work against Haunter because it's a normal type move. Is that right? That sounds right in my head. Um, but hopefully it's weak enough that an Ultra Ball will just do it. Maybe. I feel so attacked. You were literally attacked. That's just what happened. <laughs> Did you know there's a fame, an infamous NPC in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl that trades you a Haunter holding an Everstone? The thing that stops it evolving. <laughs> What a shit bag. <laughs> That's a really neat trick. I like that a lot. Because people like me would be like, I thought this thing was supposed to evolve. What the fuck? <laughs> Going on the forums, writing angry letters to um, Game Freak. <laughs> uh, what do we got? We got Psychic. The user relaxes and lightens its body to move faster. Sharply uh, raises speed stat. No, I think we're good. Um, oh, in which case, we get to exclamation mark catch. We got ourselves another Mon. What are we going to call the Haunter? Its tongue is made of gas. If licked, its victims start shaking con constantly until death eventually comes. Jesus Christ. That's grim. Um, actually, I don't like that. Whoa. Oh, no. Oh. Ah, oh, we'll have to rename him later. Well, that's one of the four we wanted caught. Already got one of these. Get out of here, Bronzong. Oh! Oh no, no, we have already caught one. Get out of here. Oh, sweet! A Hippoden. I don't like the weird holes in its back. What's that all about? It looks like it's got nostrils over its ass, Like, constantly smelling its own farts. <laughs> what do we got here? Let's go... Psybeam at first. Just to save the PP of the false swipe. Nice. Perfect. Did it just try to use Sandstorm in the middle of a Sandstorm? <laughs> it's a pretty dumb move. Foss Swipe. Uh, that wasn't so good. Oh well, that's fine. We're not in a rush. We've almost caught him anyway. 
trunk. Yeah, one more of those. It releases sand, so the, the hippo is basically Gara of the Sands. I'm making a lot of Naruto references, considering I've never watched or read much Naruto. <laughs> It's a beautiful day. It can see me catching it. The sand just clears in time for it to see a fucking Ultra Ball hurling towards its face at the speed of light. Click. Excellent. Another one down. We're smashing through these this week. Lahal wants to <laughs> wants to use knockoff. It is a knockoff Pokemon. Uh, user slaps the target. The user slaps down the target's held item, and that item can't be used in the battle. The move does more damage if the target has a held item. That's kind of cool, I guess, if you're playing like online and you know people are using like bullshit things, like the shell bell that heals them up and stuff. You know what? We're never really going to use him, but let's just get rid of Scratch and have that, just because I like the sound of it. I'm going to call this guy Gara. Stones can get stuck in the ports on their bodies. Dweb will help dislodge such stones, so Hippo doesn't look after these Pokemon. Ah, they're buddies. Um. I believed I turned the sound cooldown off, um, so only people um, uh, people can use them as many times as they want. You just can't use the same one within a minute. So I don't know why it's not working. Hmm, that's weird. I honestly don't know. I'm afraid I don't know why that isn't working. It should be. I'd set it up so there's no sound time limit like Wolfie could do one and then <laughs> Crush could do a different one and then Eka could do a different one you just can't play the same one multiple times I think or maybe it's just still set to a minute perhaps because that one Wolfie tried to do didn't work either it's a minefield I'm guessing it's a minute then by the looks of it it looks like it might be a minute apart I'll have another look at it this week. It seems to change every week, even though I don't do anything with it. <laughs> Twitch is weird. Right, anyway, uh, we've not got a Rhyhorn yet, so let's totally try and catch one of these guys. Okay, come on, another good kiss should get us just right where we want to be. Nice. Slap a false swipe in there. We should have ourselves, in theory, a Rhyhorn. I learnt today that um, Rhyhorn was the first Pokemon they ever designed. Like, it was the first Pokemon they came up with an official design for. Which is just weird. It was... Like, oh, just draw a monster, any monster you like, for this new franchise we're going to launch. And they basically just drew a rhinoceros. <laughs> ah, it was right on, not right horn. Which is even weirder, because that's an evolution. Like, they designed the evolutionary one first. I mean, that also, Rhydon is basically just a rhinoceros as well. <laughs> it's, you just assume that it was something like a Pikachu, or something that's a little more unique. I'm so confused by what the sound's doing. I don't, I don't know why it's only letting half people do it. Very weird. 
Strong, but not too bright. This Pokemon can shatter even a Skyscraper with its charging tackles. Jesus Christ. Uh, we're going to call this... Let's call it Whiskey. Because those good old boys were drinking Whiskey and Rye horns. Then we'll give it another catch. Boom. Right. We have ten minutes to try and catch those last two. The Dusclops and whatever the other one was. The one that I couldn't pronounce. No, don't need you, Rhyhorn. Oh, there's nothing up there. Okay. This is just the same right horn over and over. No, nope, we've got you, Haunter. We don't need you anymore either. Either of the other two would be fine. <laughs> God damn it. Get out of here. I'm gonna get some Rhyhorn repellent. Spray these fuckers down. I think we caught one of these last week. I think so. No, I guess not. Sweet. Alright. I'm going to catch one of these jerks. Great. Paralyzed. Marvellous. What wonderful news. Oh, now I remember why we didn't catch one of these fuckers last week. <laughs> I remember Dig being very annoying. Uh, that's fine. Just gives us time to use a... Paralyze Seal. Bonk. This thing's pretty tough. Use a side beam on it, see what happens. That's better. Uh, how annoying. Hey, money man, how's it going? Thanks for joining us, dude. I like your little beard emoji, that's cool. Thanks for joining us. Do you play much Pokemon? Let's see if we've got like a weaker healing potion we can just waste. Gotta do something. Ooh, lemonade. Lemonade? Lemonade? Yeah, I'm really good. Cheers, money man. Do you, uh, do you play much Pokemon yourself? Ah, plays lots of Pokemon. Good to hear it. I'm very, very new. I haven't played really since Pokemon Red and Blue. Uh, but my friends here in the chat are helping me through, and we're going to try and make our way through and catch, uh, fill up the whole Pokedex. That's the plan, anyway. Um, it's going pretty well, considering I'm kind of noobing my way through it. We've done pretty well so far. Um, apart from when I have weeks where I challenge people in the chat to battles, in which case I've lost every single one. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, right. I think we could probably catch him now, unless it digs again. No, good, it's fine. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Bloop. Bloop. Yes! Excellent. Okay, well, to commemorate the occasion, we're going to call um, our new snake Pokemon Money Man. Crush is basically the rotten that keeps this whole thing going. <laughs> 
When it contracts its body, over 220 pounds of sand sprays from its nose. Jesus Christ. If it ever runs out of sand, it becomes disheartened. Tragic. <laughs> Oh, excellent money. That's great. Thanks, dude. I really appreciate that. Um, we have weeks. Um, this week we're doing a gym, and then next week we'll do a 15 Pokemon catch challenge, where I try and catch 15 Pokemon in two hours, which are getting harder and harder every week, because obviously the Pokemon are getting rare, rarer or higher levels and harder to catch. Um, and then we'll do a week where I battle everyone. Um, so yeah, if you if you plan on sticking around and joining us... Um, oh, I've just seen you follow. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, I think you're my 99th follower, so that's a, that's a hell of a landmark. I really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, if you're planning on sticking around in a couple of weeks, um, be more than happy to have a battle with you. Do a bit of trading, that sounds great. Uh, let's call our new snake friend Money Man. Um, oh, we can add that to our catch list, which is now at eight Pokemon this week. Not bad for a gym week. I've got four minutes to catch those last two Pokemon, though, and I don't know where they are. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, it's another Rhyhorn. Fuck's sakes. <laughs> We've been harassed by Rhyhorns this week. They just, we can't seem to shake them. <laughs> <laughs> Drama! Um, correct me if I'm wrong, Crush. This thing evolves from a... Is it a Scrawpy? <laughs> uh, right. If I remember rightly, the Scrawpy is poison and dark, I think. So maybe... Let's try a try... Let's just try a kiss. Let's give a little kissy. See what happens. Give a little smooch a yeah, we're basically doing the Oprah thing. You get a Pokemon, you get a Pokemon, and everyone gets a Pokemon. Check under your chairs. Okay, so Draining Kiss wasn't great. Let's try a Psybeam. Ah, Drapion, the Poison Dark type. Yes, it evolves from Scrawpy. Excellent, called it. I'm getting better. I'm starting to learn things. <laughs> it goes from Scrawpy to this monstrosity. <laughs> So the Pokemon we're using at the minute, um, uh, Money Man, is called Iris. It's named after one of the usual regulars in the chat called Boris. Um, and Iris usually does really, really well for me until Boris appears in the chat. And then for some reason she just gives up all hope and just tanks it. <laughs> right, this Drapion's causing us some trouble. Let's send out our Vulpix. Don't you bully me, Crush. <laughs> I can put you back in the box. I'll do it. <laughs> oh, I've just remembered why I never use my Vulpix when I'm trying to catch stuff. Because the hail is really unreliable at keeping them at a certain low health. Shit. I was just saying, oh yeah, check me out. I'm learning things. I'm doing really well. And then I make an absolute rookie mistake. <laughs> Okay, so if we just wait now, if we don't do any more damage to it, we just let the ice take it down to red. We'll try and catch it. And then I think we're going to have to head to the gym, otherwise we're going to run out of time. But that's fine. <laughs> the Vulpix was going to be named after uh, uh, Eka. Um, we, he, we, we've done a couple of different series in the past, and I always try and name characters from the games after people in the chat. Uh, and Eka always has a character named Azuria. Um, but because the Vulpix is a shiny, rare, traded over by uh, one of Crush's good friends, uh, we can't rename it. So we call it Azuria. But its uh, its name is just according to the game is just Vulpix. But we'll always refer to it as Azuria. 
Uh, um, 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 let's just get poison off of our little Vulpix because we don't want to do any damage to it because that will probably kill it. It is the fluffiest Vulpix I've ever seen. It's adorable. I love that variant. I think it's... Is it an Aloha variant? I think Crush was saying. The Icy variant. Anyway, the Vulpix is just so cute. Okay. He's down to red. I think we can maybe try and catch him with, a, with an Ultra Ball. Wait, haven't we got some netballs? I think netballs are good against bugs, aren't they? Oh, no, but it's not a bug type, is it? You guys said it was a poison dark type. Oh, absolutely, Money Man. That would be great. Anything, anything you'd like to um, send my way would be greatly appreciated. Um, just one would be wonderful. Um... I do love having shinies. I've got two now, I think. All kindly generate, um, very kindly sent over from people in the chat. So if you'd like to send me one over, I'd, I'd really appreciate that. It'd be great. Ultra Ball! Come on, you big scorpion freak. Get in the ball. Ah. Scary face. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Hot damn. What are we going to call him? He needs a name. He's got like an accordion on his head. So maybe something musical. <laughs> Packing those levels in. Lovely. Oh, and that reminds me. We get a plus one catch. <laughs> Cello. <laughs> its poison is potent, but it rarely sees use. This Pokemon prefers to use physical force instead, going on rampages with its car-crushing strength. <laughs> Do people even have cars in the Pokemon universe? It seems like the only way between towns is usually through ancient ruins, grassy fields, or mushroom forests. You don't see many people driving cars. Anyway. Um... We're going to call it Scoozical. Which is a Scorpion musical. Scoozical. Perfect. Off to the box with you, Scoozical. <laughs> Get over here! That would have been good. That would have been good. Right, okay, well we didn't catch the two that we particularly came here for, however, we have caught eight Pokemon in this area, which is pretty great, so I'm, I'm happy to call that there, or nine Pokemon rather, um, so let's, ah! Jesus Christ, <laughs> that scared the crap out of me, let's head to the gym, um, we'll switch our team up, head to the gym, and then if there's time, I will have the battle with Crush, just as promised, and uh, if Money Man wants to do a trade, I would be very grateful for that as well. <laughs> Excuse me, princess. Um, actually, uh, Crush, I think we do have that. Is it princess, maybe? No. Let's check out the list. I'm sure I added that. Well, excuse me, There princess. it is. <laughs> Perfect. Um... I am still very new, and I haven't caught very much Money Man um, in the way of, like, rare and special Pokemon. Um, but if I have a flick through my boxes, if there's anything you want or need, uh, anything that's not named after someone in chat, I'm more than happy to um, send over to you. Um, let's change up the team now, and then we'll do the trade before we go in. Um, I don't mind, to be honest. Um, Pokemon around my level, around... Anything's fine to be honest. Um, we will be getting to use level 100s at some point because we plan to like 100% the game. Um, but anything I can use now would be great as well. Um, really, just anything that's going to help me fill in the Pokedex. Um, let's heal these guys up first. All right.
right, Crush. All right. Let's not be mean. I'm trying my best. <laughs> Uh, I'm around level 50, there or thereabouts at the minute, with most of my guys. Uh, who do we want for the gym? I don't even know what type the gym is. Um, we definitely don't want Lahal. Let's get um, Decker back out, because Decker is awesome. Um, and let's have Sterling as well. Where do we put Sterling? I think he's in box two. I really should organize this box at some point. Where's Sterling? There he is. Bloop. Okay, so it's a rock type gym. So what's good against rock? Uh, fighting, I think? What's this? Why has Rainbow Naz got this little purple thing over his head? Oh, he's in a battle team. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, that would be perfect, Money Man. That would be great. Uh, and I'll send you over uh, Pringles, because he's got a fun name. So we want Water, Grass, Fighting, and Steel. None of which we really have. Wolfie's got a little bit of Steel. I'm sure it'll be fine. We've never had any trouble with them before. Wolfie's a, a fighting what? <laughs> a fighting stealth? And ground. I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll be relying mostly on Wolfie then, by the sound of it, because he's he's fighting. And rock and steel. <laughs> sure, it'll be fine. It really weirds me out when I see the word telly because that's such a distinctly English thing. You never see it in video games. Uh, we're gonna fight after the after I've done the gym battle crush if that's okay I thought he said that Daki Makora is able to store more strength the colder it gets like this guy's got a Daki we'll wait for um, money man to get back we'll do the trade and then I'll go into the gym oh hop lost I wasn't expecting that. I was about to be like, oh, here we go. Hop again. Uh, there must have been something wrong with my strategy, but I just did... I just did what I've seen Lee do. you got to do your own thing, man. It's a Rock Leader's League card. You should check out the Gym Leader. You'll have to face too. Geordie. Geordie LaForge. he got like a face visor on. I gotta figure out what to put on my team once and for all. No more of this doubting. Stop changing your team up, you fucking spod. This guy. Uh, fight them first. Okay, cool. I'll fight the gym first, and then we'll do the trading and the battling. Thanks for rolling by to have a chat with you and me. The ball guy. I heard that a wishing star fell to you. How do you know who I am, ball guy? Who are you under the mask? That means you were cho <laughs> Is it hop under there? <laughs> It also means I've got a Pokeball for you. Brilliant. Ooh, a Moonball. I don't think we've got one of those yet. Cool. Pokeball that makes it easier to catch Pokemon that can evolve using a Moonstone. I don't think... I think I asked Crush this the other week. I don't think you can catch Jigglypuffs in this one, can you? Which is a shame, because Jigglypuffs one of my favourites. You're getting close to the end, but don't go slacking off just yet. Are you saying... I'm... It sounds like a threat. Um, I know that trainer. She's pretty famous. She's talking about me. I'm pretty famous. In order to face Pokemon types you're weak against, you'll need more than courage. 
Careful planning and strategy. Blah, 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 blah. I don't need any of that. We just need pure luck of the smug. Welcome, gym challenger. Do you want to attempt the gym mission? Let's do it. <laughs> Bald guy sees all. I'm sad there's no Jigglypuff. Can you at least trade a Jigglypuff over from, like, Pokemon Home or something? Make sure to receive the trap detector up ahead, too. You'll need it for the gym mission. The trap detector? In case we we know that Astolfo's nearby. Would you like to hear the details of the gym mission carried out here in Churchester? Allow- oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Allow me to explain this little bit about the trap detector you hold in your hands. The reason you'll need it is simple. There are invisible pitfalls everywhere in here. If you fall into one, you'll have to start again. Oh boy. The detector will vibrate if there's a pitfall in front of you. The closer the hole, the stronger the vibration. This is going to be an absolute nightmare. I may be terrible with directions, but I'm very good at vibrations and holes, so... Try to feel your way through. Trust your senses. Who's talking in my head? Have I gone insane? I'm just gonna Leroy Jenkins it. Leroy Jenk- <laughs> We did it! <laughs> we just fucking leroy it. Just pick a direction and run, see what happens. Hey, you used to walking around in Churchester Stadium yet? No, I've just got here. Were well, you fucking new? Oh, I like her though. She's very smug. Look at this. You're challenged by gym trainer Abigail. Bring it on, Abigail. Oh, we're getting some bets placed, are we? Seven falls or six falls? We'll see. We'll see. I'm getting cocky, but I've literally just got the first platform. There's probably like four more to go. <laughs> Right, um, looks like we're going to be relying on pretty much Wolfie for most of this. Hadouken! I certainly am. In S.H.I.E.L.D. it's a different gym. Oh really? That's interesting. They don't normally change... Not that I really know, but certainly with red and blue and gold and silver, they didn't really change much at all apart from a few different evolutions in the occasional Pokémon. You battle so confidently. I see. You've got to have confidence. She looks terrified. She looks like she's seen some serious shit. Leroy! <laughs> Do they at least stay? Okay, brilliant. So, that's one down. Leroy! <laughs> Booyah. That seems unnecessary. But we did it. We rocked it. One fall down. Five to go. In S.H.I.E.L.D. you fight Gordy's mother. Who <laughs> uses ice types. Gordy's mother? What? Why? Is there any particular reason for that? Or... Take a deep breath. Focus. I feel like I've got like a little Yoda sat on my shoulder. Lyra! Jaggers! Oh, no. <laughs> Two down. Oh, come on. I was barely in that one. That's three. Fuck. I didn't know that. So there's actually quite a bit of difference then. Oh, crap. I can't remember how I got there. Leroy! Yeah. Fuck, that's 
four. Shit. Okay, we're there. We're at the next one. It's fine. It's all good. It's brilliant. It's better than ever. I want to change my bet to 11. <laughs> Fuck off, Wolfie. <laughs> Remember how we fought B back in the town where the um, B Day crushed a wall? That's a ghost type gym. Ah, oh, that's cool. New challenge by Gym Trainer Kiera. Hey, we caught a crustal last week. I really like them. It kind of makes me think they've got like a giant chocolate fudge brownie on their back. Makes me peckish. Uh, I started my diet again today. I've been off it for a few weeks, but I got a feeling I'll be back at work in a couple of weeks. And I've put on like pff, like eight pounds since we've been off because I've just been eating garbage. So I'm back on the diet today uh, and it's kind of making me cranky and everything's making me think of food. So, <laughs> Did I make you understand how amazing rock types are? You didn't, to be honest. You put out a rock type and it died in one hit. So if anything, I think crush type, uh, rock types are shitter than ever. Oh, what? How did I even get there? It feels like I must have already walked over that part. Oh, damn it, that's five. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, is that six? Okay, shit. <laughs> Gordy's amazing qualities. Number one, he's cool and fashionable. You look far too old to be... He's got a mullet. What do you know about fashion? Gym trainer Oliver sent out Karako. I think I've already made my feelings known pretty well about this particular looking Pokemon. It looks like one of Zora Magdaros's bogeys. Bone Rush. Yeah, my hair's pretty bad at the minute, but it's not in a mullet. The only person in the world that can pull off a mullet is fucking Solid Snake. That's right, I said it. I don't want to know about your jerking off habits. Thank you very much, Wolfie. <laughs> Gordy's amazing qualities. Number two, he is lively and stylish. He's not even paying attention to the fact I beat him. He's just like, yeah, 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 it's my friend's really cool. Uh, we weren't having a fight or anything. Oh, okay, that's... Uh... <sighs> Who called seven? Who said it was going to be seven? I don't want it to be eight. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I nearly got there. Ah. Uh... Freedom. We made it. We made it. Right, so that was eight. Who said eight? <laughs> it might get a bit harder to see now. Oh, you're kidding me, there's more. Oh no! I thought that was the end. <laughs> well. <laughs> we, um, we may not be able to beat this gym in an hour. Feeling nervous yet? Your heart's pounding, isn't it? I don't like this. Hot oh, damn! Oh, that's not the end. Shit. <laughs> this seems like a really dangerous... No hesitation. Your only choice is forward. Alright. 
totally destroyed this one. <laughs> Boo! Ah, that would scare the shit out of... How many hours has she stood there waiting to catch someone out? And then a little smoke chan sneaks up behind her and scares the shit out of her. <laughs> Gym trainer Wendy sent out Sudowoodoo. Ah, oh, I like Sudowoodoo. He's very good. Yes, give it another Aura Sphere. We're just going to solo this whole gym with just Wolfie. I can feel it. Oh, no. Look at that. One hit point. Oh, it's because he's got Sturdy. Okay. I thought it was just like we just knocked him down to one hit point. Dead. <laughs> that was perfect. That fart went off at the second Sudowoodoo fell on his ass. Just sounded like he shit himself after he died. <laughs> Even though I knew you were there, I couldn't see a path to victory. Very good. Very good. Well done, guys. I like that a lot. Yup, that's not right. We're getting there by increments. Ah, oh, come on. Boo. Oh, I'm never going to get back there in a million years. What if we just go up here instead? Who's talking to me? I hate it. Ah, oh, I thought I found a little... I was just going to stick up against the wall. Man, I've even lost count of how many times I've fallen now. Altogether, too many. Come on. Oh no, I was so close. That was the exit, I think. <laughs> 69. <laughs> Fuck off, Sterling. <laughs> You're a bad egg. Oh, come on, no. <laughs> it hits a point where it stops being funny and just becomes annoying. <laughs> yes! Right, that's gotta be a trap. Surely. Woo! Right, we made it. Only a million falls. Several broken shins. <laughs> thousands of pounds worth of repairing to do on this place. Jeez. Uh, let's heal up a little first, shall we? Oh, we don't even really need to. Let's just give Wolfie some lemonade. Ah, even better, just a bit of fresh water. Delicious. <laughs> I called six. I had faith. Oh, you'll learn. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, this is how we do things. We somehow, despite the odds, come out on top. <laughs> Even though absolutely not deserving to. <laughs> Look, I'm just saying that there should be a sat-nav Pokemon that tells me where I need to go. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Jesus Christ, this guy looks like fucking Ronaldo from Steven Universe. <laughs> hey there, the name's Gordy. I admit I feel a bit bad for doing this to a gym challenger, but I'm going to use this match to show the crowd that my Pokemon are unbeatable. Then I'm going to go onto the forums and harass women. <laughs> Let's get this over with, Challenger. I've got to get home to my mom and make her get some pot pockets. <laughs> right, Crush, I'm just telling you that if there was a way that I could put you in the sin bin for ten minutes, I'd do it right now. 
No bully and smug. You're supposed to be on my side, not Gordy's. Look at this fucking ponce. This guy owns samurai swords in his house. Unironically. See? Wolfie's got faith in me. He's sleepy. He doesn't give a fuck. Meteor Mash. Boom. Avoided it. Well done, Wolfie. Wolfie's got faith in me. Thank you, Wolfie. Wait, why am I using bone? That's probably not great. Holy shit! Woof! That's fine. Okay, we need to heal Wolfie up. <laughs> I'm only bullying out of love and respect. I know it, baby. I know. <laughs> it's alright, guys. I know you're not really bullying me. I can take it. <laughs> uh, let's switch the Pokemon out just until... Whoops. Until we can... Um, Heal Wolfie. Let's send Decker out, because Decker's fast enough to hopefully avoid most of the slower attacks. Woo! Go Decker. Go Decker. What is this thing? Stonjourner. I'm guessing this is what evolved from the big fudge cake crab that we were talking about earlier. Right. Um... We're going to heal Wolfie up. Gloop. <laughs> I'm so far behind the stream, but my cheers continue. It doesn't evolve, nor does it evolve from anything. Oh, fair enough. You're not that far behind, actually, Crush. It's only a few seconds, I think. Um, okay. It looks kind of derpy. I can't say I'm a big fan of this particular one. I think it's the big square eyes. It's like I don't like them on the rotten very much either. But he does have a bit of an attitude slant on the mouth. Uh, let's just see what... Um, let's see what Decker can do, and then we'll switch out to Wolfie if we need to. Rock Tomb. Woof. Ooh, super effective. Okay, let's get Decker... Uh, yeah, let's get Decker out of there. Sorry, Decker. This fight is not for you. Hit it with a flamethrower. I didn't think that fire attacks would be very good against rock. Or are you just fucking with me? <laughs> ah, now I recognise that thing. That hurts me when I switch Pokemon out. Hopefully, we don't need to switch any more Pokemon out. Because I'm hoping Wolfie can just solo the rest of this. Fingers crossed. Boom! Go Wolfie! Dead. Geordie's about to send out Shuckle. Ooh, this is the little turtle guy, isn't it? Like in the red shell with his head poking out the top. Reminds me of the Jiggler from Adventure Time. Yeah, look at this little guy. He's not so tough, surely. I don't like that the gym leader can't even stand facing me. That he has to stand with his ass facing towards me. <laughs> it's just... Anyway. Uh, let's give it another Aura Sphere. It seems to be working pretty well for us. Shuckle has 250 in both defense stats. Holy crap. <laughs> that was a critical. How embarrassing for you. <laughs> How embarrassing for you, Jordy. Oh, cool. So it's got low special defense. So even though it's not strong, it would still do the damage. That's good to know. I still not quite wrap my head around the whole difference. I, I know the difference now because you obviously explained it to me the other week between the special damage or special attacks and regular attacks. But um, it's like remembering to look and see if I'm struggling to see whether the Pokemon's got high defense or high special defense and stuff like that. Um, oh, don't you worry. Wolfie's going to be Dynamaxing. We're going to have a super duper giant Pokemon fight in a second. How about this? I'll give you five on level monsters and then I give you and then one level 100 G-Max. 
Hell yeah. Sounds good, man. Sounds great. That's very generous of you, man. Use ground type moves. Okay. Like a giant Martin Boulder. Hiya, Gigamax. I can't wait to tell all the, all the people on my internet forum about this. Finish him. <laughs> Finish him. It's rock slash fire type. That is Zora Magdalos. If you've ever played Monster Hunter, that is just Zora Magdalos. Max Far. Oh, Wolfie! Jesus Christ. Alright, let's do it. Dynamax, baby. Max Quake! I have Dynamaxed. It's fine. Chill out. Woo! I assumed Wolfie was faster than the big slow mountain man, so I figured we'd be hitting first. Oh yeah! Nailed it! What's Crush ranting and raving about? What are you getting all worked up about, Crush? One, bada bing, bada boom. Thank you, money man. <laughs> what? What are you getting so upset about? I just want to climb into a hole. Well, I guess it would be more like falling from here. Sounds good, money man. I'll be right on it. I like his big gold pendant thing. Very ostentatious. That was impressive. Rules are rules. Here, take this rock badge. My mom gave it to me. Catch Pokemon up to level 15. Boom. Oh man. Hop is going to be so miserable now. Because I've once again foiled him. Or beaten someone that he couldn't. Rock Tomb. Boulders are held at the target. It also lowers target speed stat by preventing its movements. And a special uniform. Oh yeah, Gordy wears it so it's super cool. Yeah, for sure. Alright. Boom. Um, link trade. <laughs> you really do like Gordy, don't you? <laughs> Alright, I just gotta say... Absolute buffoon and fucking imbecile. Being said out of love, <laughs> love and respect. You're an odd duck crush. But I like you. I like your face. I've never seen it, but I imagine you look like... Um, I just... I just say something really like Denzel Washington. I don't know. Just the first thing that came to my head. Um, only love and respect. Nothing but love and respect for the fucking buffoon. <laughs> Right, the code is 7295. 7295. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, money man, you're a legend. That's so kind. The uniform rocks, huh? Okay, I tell you what. When, when I fight you, Crush, I'll put on Geordie's uniform, just as like a little peace treaty between the two of us. <laughs> um, you can have Butterscotch. We work really hard to get Butterscotch at the start of the game, so I think you should have Butterscotch. Oh, cool. B-sharp. Heck yeah. I like his big puffy pants. They're really cool. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like if a B-Sharp doused itself in gasoline. <laughs> uh. Wow, Crush, you fucking predicted the future, mate. <laughs> Crush.
crush, have you got psychic powers? <laughs> you fucking wizard. <laughs> That is a cool looking Pokemon, man. He looks like a samurai. Bloop. It's accompanied by a large retinue of Pornewad. Pornewad. That's the one that I couldn't see earlier, isn't it? God damn it. B Sharps keep a keen eye on its minions, ensuring none of them even think of double crossing it. It rules with an iron fist. Oh, yeah, let's have that card. Joburg. Cool. <laughs> Angry Greg. Pornyard. <laughs> Pornyard. Pornyard. What were you doing this afternoon? I was watching porn in the yard. Porn yard. <laughs> well, thank you for that money, man. I really appreciate that. I'll take great care of him, I assure you. P-O-R-N-Y-A-R-D. Porn yard. <laughs> um, oh, you got more. Okay. Um, how do we... Do we have to jump out and go back into a new trade? Or can we just continue from here? Um, I guess I'll just try... Uh, have Tim Burton... Oh, I've seen this guy. He was really, really popular, I think. Was it this game or the last one? Uh, like, the Japanese went absolutely mad for him. Oh, money man. That's incredible. Are you sure? This feels like... Oh, you... <laughs> you're really making me... Oh, money man. That's so kind. What a fucking dude. Mimikyu is a ghost fairy type from Gen 7. He's also freaking adorable. I love Mimikyu. I think he's great. <laughs> well, I remember when you first jumped in, I was like, Hey man, do you play much Pokemon? It's like, uh, it's got three boxes full of shinies and a bunch of Master Balls, so I guess. <laughs> That's so cute. It wears a rag fashioned into a Pikachu costume in an effort to look less scary. Unfortunately, the costume only makes it creepier. <laughs> Gutted. He's wearing a Pikachu costume. Amazing. The next shiny is huge. Okay, well, in that case, you should have... Uh, slime Boy. What the fuck is that? <laughs> it's a huge whale. It is, it is a whale, isn't it? Yeah, man. What is that? Moolah Money Man lives up to the name. Yeah, he does. Jesus Christ, he's huge. A whale lord. Lord of whales. <laughs> whale lord is a pure water type from Gen 3. It's the largest Pokemon... Well, he's never met... Obviously, he doesn't compare me to uh, me walking out of an all-you-can-eat Chinese restaurant. I'm about the same size as a whale lord. Around there. It evolves from Whalemur. It took you three months. The next shiny I hunted. Oh, money man. I'll take good care of them, I promise you that. Uh, it can sometimes knock out opponents with the shock crater by breaching and crashing its big body onto the water. Wow. So I'm pretty sure I picked up an item that like increases, that does more damage the heavier I am or something like that. I think he'd be really good giving him something like that. <laughs> um, have Spitty Greg. I like Spitty Greg. He's got pointy ears. Oh my god. No way. <laughs> Slowpoke is one of my all-time favorites from Gen 1. 
He's so good. He kind of um, he lives he's he lives his best smug life. He just eats and sleeps and does as little as possible. <laughs> Honestly, just one would be fantastic, Money Man. I really, really appreciate it. Um, you know, if, if you join us uh, again in another week, maybe we could do uh, trade uh, trade another one later or something. But for now, you've been more than kind enough. It's really, really, really made my day, I tell you. It's made me so happy. Um, oh, no, 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 no. Um, I think... You can have shiny balls. <laughs> well, look at it this way, Crush. The shiny Volpix will always be my first ever shiny. And Volpix is named, unofficially named Azuria and will always have a place on my team. So, um, although it's not the only shiny anymore, she is still super important and a very special part of the team. That's beautiful. What is that? I've never seen one of those before. It's like wearing a little... Um, a little kimono. Goodbye, shiny balls. Shiny balls. Look at them shining. Look at them shining. Shiny balls. Frolas is a ghost ice type that evolves from Snorunt. Frostlass. I'm guessing she's kind of like a play on like the traditional uh, Japanese, like uh, the folklore um, ice woman. They're like one of their traditional ghosts is like a spooky old cold lady. After yeah, after a woman met her end on a snowy mountain, her regret lingers on. For them, this Pokemon was born. Its favorite food is frozen skulls. Jesus Christ! Some of these Pokedex entries are way darker than I ever remember them being. <laughs> Okay, and one last bonus Pokemon. As long as you're sure, Money Man, because this is fantastic. I've lost count. I need to go back and add all the extras to what I've added to my Pokedex today. Um, have my Super Sentai, because he's cool. Snorunt was introduced in Gen 3 and normally evolves into a Galay once it reaches level 40. But since Gen 4, you can use a Dawnstone to evolve a female Snorunt. Oh, cool. That thing looks ace like a giant undead hawk. Corviknight is level 100 G-Max. God damn. Wow. Take good care of Corviknight. <laughs> Are you ready for the bonus Pokemon? The bonus Pokemon is the best Pokemon I'm going to give you today. A second Slowpoke. <laughs> this Pokemon reigns supreme in the skies of the Galar region. The black luster of its steel body could drive terror into the heart of any foe. Wow, goddamn. Enjoy this since you can't play shield. Okay. Um, have Deffy. Deffy's got a special place in my heart. We like Deffy very much. Whoa, what is that? A Zamazenta. Hot damn, dude. What an amazing looking beast. So, is this like the shield version? The shield version of the sausage dog that we met at the beginning of 
of sword. That's the legendary uh, in shield. Excellent. It's Sword of Zakian. Oh man, that's amazing. Dude, thank you so much. You've really helped me fill my decks out tonight. I really appreciate that. Um, okay, no worries, Crush. Well, let's make an event of it then. We'll say next week, instead of doing uh, the 15 catch Pokemon like I normally do, next week we'll have another battle week. I'll get Naz. Wolfie, anyone that wants a, a battle, and we'll have another few battle rounds next week. How does that sound? We'll make a bit of an event out of it. In times past, it worked together with a king of the people to save the Galar region. It absorbs metal and then uses it in battle. Cool. <laughs> Amazing. Wow, goddamn. Um... Well, thank you, obviously, very much for that money, man. I really appreciate that. Uh, we have uh, about 10, 15 minutes left. Let's see if we can go back and catch those last two Pokemon that we couldn't catch in the ruins earlier. That battle was... Oh, she's Scottish, isn't she? Sorry. That battle was brilliant. That gym leader was tough, but you had no trouble with him. Chia Chester has some really great restaurants. I got some things I want to talk to you about, so let's head to a restaurant and celebrate your win. In the name of the restaurant is Bob's Your Uncle. Yeah, I've already been in there. They've got centipedes serving food. Very unhygienic. Um, hot dog, man. Let's go. Let's just uh, try and catch those last two, that mummy Pokemon, and the oh, don't tell me, don't tell me, the pawnyard, pawnyard, pawn in the yard, pawnyard. Check it out. Check me out. Remembering where the, uh, the thing is. Uh, I want you to go to your boxes and press the X button. Okay. Check boxes. Change box view. Okay, so this points out all the people that have got I that are carrying items, I guess. Oh, but yeah, pop that in the bag for sure. What is this? Rusty Shield. I'll have a look at that in a minute. Uh, remains. Let's I guess have that berry. <laughs> Man. Dude, you're an absolute legend. You've, that's really touched me, man. I'm not like a super emotional person, but you're my freaking hero. <laughs> right, let's get everyone healed up and we'll go and try and catch those last two Pokemon. Dude. Uh, no, it's not Madman. It's pronounced Money Man. <laughs> right, back to the ruins. We got to catch ourselves a Duskwar and a Pawnyard, which sounds kind of like Ponyta, but it's definitely not. Oh yeah, wrong way. <laughs> we could catch Wolfie, <laughs> zipping off in entirely the wrong direction. Do do. It's not down there either. I was, I was about to go, all right, see how easy I got to that Pokemon Center. My sense of directions got so much better. <laughs> and then immediately head out in the wrong direction. <laughs> Freaking things. Stupid Sneasels. Get out of here. Uh, 
right, sorry about that. I was just completing something. Bloop. Right. Oh, god damn it. Straight into one of these fucking jujitsu motherfuckers. <laughs> Excuse my language. Get out of here. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. I, it's not bribery, by the way. Um, it's it's. I just really, really appreciate that. And I'd very much like to see you stick around for a few weeks and chat with us some more, because you seem like a great guy. So um, it's not that I give subscriptions to people who give me free stuff. <laughs> right, here we go. Right, back to it. We've got to catch ourselves a Dusk Noir and a Pawniard. So, uh, the subscription basically allows you, if you hit exclamation mark list, it'll give you a list of sound effects, uh, and it lets you use sound effects, which is something we've only just recently put in. I'm adding more stuff, but it was still quite new, at least new to being a uh, Twitch affiliate or whatever it's called. <laughs> right, we don't need one of these mountain dudes, so we'll just run away from him. We've got nine minutes to catch a Dusk Noir and a Pawniard. In fact, I should probably check they're still available because I know it changes depending on the time of day and stuff, doesn't it? So let's check they're still there. They are. Excellent. Dusclops. Not a Dusquar. Dusclops. Excellent. Perfect. Good luck is on our side. I say good luck is on our side. <laughs> we've, got to, we've actually got to catch it first. We're just assuming we're going to catch it. <laughs> it's right next to you. <laughs> I'm just like stood there with binoculars on going, Has anyone seen a Dusclops? And there's one sat right next to me. Watching me with its creepy beardy eye. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, we can't use false swipe on it because it's a ghost type. So we're just going to have to hit it and hope for the best. Where's Boris this week? I've really missed Boris. It feels weird not having Iris die a lot. <laughs> feels wrong. Mwah. Iris is a bit of a hussy. She just kisses anybody who comes away. I think that's the case. I think Iris usually does well until Boris shows up and then she... Just dies. Oh, Dusclops, you little shit. That's fine. That's fine. Don't kiss it. Okay, right. It's weak. Ultra Ball. Go, go, go. <laughs> Check out the moves on the Slowpoke. He's OP. Amazing. We'll, um, I'll, I'll put him on my team when uh, we have our battles with the uh, people from the chat next week. I'll, uh, I'll slap in a, a slowpoke and see what he can do. <laughs> its body is entirely hollow. When it opens its mouth, it sucks everything in as if it were a black hole. Well, at least this one doesn't murder children or eat skulls. <laughs> uh, what are we going to call it? We're going to call him... Uh, okay, we're going to call it... Snoop Dogg. Because it's covered in wrappers, wrappings. Snoop Doe? What the hell? What's a Snoop Doe? Snoop Dog. Get it? Because of the wrapping? Huh? Huh? No. Uh, check, the, check the moves right now. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. Pokemon. I always forget you can access the boxes without having to... I'm used to having to go to the computers to do it. Uh, where are you, Mr. Slowpoke, you beautiful bastard? Where am you? There he is. <laughs> Level 69. <laughs> Uh, 
moves. How the hell does a... <laughs> How does what I assume is a water-type slowpoke get flamethrower? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so it's got a water, a psychic, a fire, and a normal type. That's so cool. It's capable of taking hits. It's OP. That's amazing. <laughs> I love the idea of a slowpoke with a flamethrower. Amazing. Makes Pokemon eat a held berry when its HP drops to half or less, which is sooner than usual. Okay, so it forces other Pokemon to eat things. <laughs> it's like a bulimia counselor. Why does my water type Lapras use a Thunderbolt? <laughs> I'm glad to know that you can get a Lapras in this. I like Laprases. Oh, uh, we have four minutes in order to catch a Pawniard. I don't even know what a Pawniard looks like. <laughs> oh, no, I don't want to attack this. To the right, it's in the grass. Oh, this thing. Oh, god damn. Well done, Wolfie. I, I was looking around for something like the long grass ones. Excellent. I'm assuming this is the unevolved version of the little... Of the, um... The shiny that I got earlier. Uh, right. We don't want to kill it. We don't want to kill it. Let's use some not very effective moves first. Just to gauge how strong it is. And then I'll check out the, uh... The Corvus Squire, um... The Corvus Knight moves. Oh, god damn. Go, Wolfie. Well done. It's exactly what we wanted. Things have been going unusually well for me this week, despite falling down a lot of holes. <laughs> Go Ultra Ball. I shouldn't have said that. It's going to break out the ball now, isn't it? One, two, three. Excellent. Well, I lost count of how many we added to our Pokedex this week because of the generosity of Money Man. But it was more than, I think, probably close to 15. It uses river stones to maintain the cutting edges of the blades covering its body. These sharpened blades allow it to bring down opponents. He is only two foot tall. Sweet. We did it. We got the four recommended Pokemon and we did the gym and we did a bunch of training. Fantastic. Well, that puts us at just about two hours. Oh, no. I'm going to check the uh, Corviknight first. Uh, what are we going to call this guy? We're going to call him... Uh, he needs uh, like a Japanese name because he looks like a samurai. Um, uh, let's call him... I don't know if this is going to fit. It might be too long. Um, sa -ku -ma -du. On Sakumaru. Perfect. Right, let's just check out our friend, the Corviknight. Ooh. Oh. Um, bulk up, roost. Brave Bird and Iron Head. Let's see what those actually do. Ah. The user tends its muscles to bulk up its body, raising its attack and defense stats. User lands and rests its body, restoring HP half of its max. It's pretty good, man. Tucks its wings and charges from low altitude. Also damages the, <laughs> the user quite a lot. Kamikaze Pilot. User slams the target with its steel hard head. May also make the target flinch. Very cool. It can Gigantamax. Cool. Very cool. Right, that puts us two hours on the dot. Well, um, excellent. We'll be back next Monday with the next Pokemon stream, and we'll do some battling. Um, we've got uh, Wolfie and I are going to finish off Halo 1 um, on Saturday morning. A smug waifu wants to do a stream of Portal. Would any... I'm, I'm thinking Wednesday night? I don't know if anyone would be interested, but she'd love someone to come along and chat with her. She's never played it before, and I keep telling her how good it is. 
Um, so hopefully maybe see some of you guys Wednesday night. If not, Saturday morning. And if not then, definitely back for some Pokemon on Monday. Thank you so much for joining me this week, guys. It's been amazing as always. We've got loads done. Uh, I love you all to bits, and I'll catch you all next week. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.